Ryan Step Up the Cut. Continue. Peppa's house. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. <laughs> Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys yes, in mommy, my mommy. basket. <laughs> I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. <sighs> Pepper, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it. to him. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Let's go this way. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you can find something more fun to play with. Mr. Potato! <laughs> Standing Mr. Potato! <laughs> Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Super Potato! He is the power of... Vegetables! <laughs> Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. <laughs> Ooh, a car! It's very exciting! Maybe Daddy can take us on a car ride. <laughs> Look who's here, George. Hello, Pepper. I see you have a new friend. Do you want to help? Excellent. I have just the task for you. Why don't you sit here and mix this bowl for me? Well done. You're a great mixer. We're going to make a lovely salad with these vegetables. Daddy, Daddy! We're having lots of fun. That's great, Pepper. Hmm. 
Pepper, why don't you and your friend go and say hello to Mummy Pig in the living room? Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take what? care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. No? You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Ah, there you are. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. The playgroup. Hello, everyone. This is my new friend. Hello.
two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. The pay group uses that bus to go to the museum. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Let's go this way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What is going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. Oh, we won't delay you any longer. You must be busy. Uh, is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. We will. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Ah, there you are.
go visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Let's. Mm, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all. And eat all the <laughs> ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty, and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes, we want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Peppa. It's a real dinosaur, one that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are.
Granny and Grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Let's go this way. I think it's too long for you. Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> 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 Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. <laughs> Ah, there 
There you are. Go visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Yes, guys. Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. 
This is the Earth. We also have Venus, Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the Internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it.
Peace. 